It was a breakaway from the usual presentation format. Kidney awareness was brought to life at Westside with thoughtful and interactive stalls. From games that teach about kidney function okay, a drink that is high on potassium. to a real-life dissection. Those little white strands that we can see are the nephrons doing their job. The event seems to have been well received by its target audience. Today I've learned that you can have more than one kidney and you can just have one as well. And I learned how to keep it safe. You have to have check your blood pressure. You have to eat safely. You have to have good fitness and all of that. How the kidneys work and like what their function is in the body and we also got to see a real kidney from um, a sheep. It was really cool although it was a bit like disgusting to see it. I think they've really enjoyed it to be honest. They've been, it's been like super interactive and they've learnt like, super, like loads of new things about kidneys. Health professionals also attended to share their expertise and take questions from the kids. Simple things like drinking enough water can be quite a challenge for some, so raising awareness at a young age can help shape the right habits. Drinking like a, a litre or two a day is really important to keep your kidney safe. I do lots of sports, so obviously I drink some water, but um, I need to improve in drinking more water at home. So kidneys are really important because they help filter all the nasty toxins out of your blood. Um, and that's why it's really important that we protect our kidneys and look after them so that we try and reduce our risk of developing kidney disease in the future. There are things you can do to reduce your risk of kidney disease. For example, making sure you stay really well hydrated, drink at least a couple of litres of water a day. Smoking can also increase your chances of developing kidney disease. Diabetes is a risk factor for developing um, kidney disease in the future. So we have high rates of smoking and diabetes and high blood pressure here in Gibraltar so we actually have per capita quite a high number of patients with chronic kidney disease. So on the rock we dialyse around 35 patients. So these are patients coming back and forth to hospital three times a week for dialysis. We have about 35. And my impression is for a small place such as this we wouldn't need, normally have as many as we have here. But nothing hits home more than a personal experience. She either had to go on dialysis or needed a kidney transplant. Uh, I offered myself to be tested to see for compatibility and thank God the miracle happened and I was able to donate one of my kidneys to her. The doctor in London uh, actually asked me up to his office, asked us both up to his office to give us the results of my tests and he says that you, congratulations, you are, you are compatible, you are able to give her your kidney. To me it was as if I had won the National Lottery. But then after that, unfortunately, they started to fail again, so she had to go back on dialysis. And uh, thank God we're now, she's now been placed on the UK list for a second transplant, so we are in the hope that that might happen sooner rather than later. Having been born with polycystic kidney disease, having had one kidney fail at the age of five, the other at 15, starting dialysis at the age of 18 and being patient number seven on the dialysis unit in the GHA to having had a kidney transplant, transplant at the age of 21. So yeah, I've kind of lived through my life with, with kidney disease. I actually had an issue with my right kidney in which I lost 80% function um, at the age of 27 and um, a lot of doctors were actually very surprised about that. It all started from a urine infection and things just escalated from there and it was a very big shock and my, my life sort of came to a pause. I had to cancel all my summer holidays, you know, I, I'm a teacher so I had to stop working for a couple of months and it really did affect my life. But uh, now I'm hopefully on the road to recovery. So Sharing the message. About yeah, just raising awareness and I want to keep doing the same thing and hopefully things will get even bigger next year. <laughs> World Kidney Day is tomorrow. The events will continue with awareness stores outside the hospital and ICC. If you've got any questions or want to show your support, do pay them a visit.